Hello and welcome to this session of Five for Fifth, where today we're going to be modeling the game Fraction Capture from Unit 6 of our 5th grade everyday math text. Um, the game is really easy to learn. You're going to have a game board and you're going to need a pair of dice and two players. Now the whole purpose of the game, everyone, is that we want to capture as many of these squares as we can. So by capturing a, a square, we're just going to claim it. I'll circle that in my color pen. My partner will circle when she wins. And then at the end, we see who captured more squares. What you're going to be doing, you're going to roll the die. This is just as an example. I roll the die, and I can either say 1 fifth, or I could say 5 over 1. I think it's great that I rolled this as an example because we are not allowed to use whole numbers. Strict integers. Integers are not allowed. So 5 over 1, I would have to use 1 over fifth. Let's suppose if it was a 3 and a 4 that I rolled, I could use 3 fourths, or I can use 4 thirds. So we can okay. use fractions or mixed numbers. Fractions, mixed numbers, That's not, a, not whole, a whole numbers. Number. Okay. Yeah. So let's just begin. Um, again, really simple game. Oh, look at that. Uh, <laughs> All right, so I, I have to take one fifth. So these are halves, thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths. I'm going to put my initial right here at one fifth. I have just captured that little tiny slice. All right, let's see what I'm doing here. Five over five. <clears throat> I can't use that because it's one hole. It's one We're hole, not you're right. So I lose my you turn. You lose your turn. And, and boys and girls, you can capture the square when you have gotten more than half filled. Right. Um, so we'll we'll talk about that as we progress. Let's see. Oh. I'm going to go with oh, oh the four mixed thirds, a mixed number. That's one and one third. One and one third. I can circle any. I'm going to take this one. That's your one. That's my one and one third. Okay. Okay. So. Ooh. I can have five thirds, which is a mixed number, or three fifths. And I'm going to go with the five thirds because that will give me more. Five thirds is one and two thirds. So I'm going to take one hole, and I'm going to take one of these up here, mm -hmm. and two thirds. Well, if I put my initials here and here, I have captured more than half of this block, so I get the whole thing. Whoa. Whoever gets more than half gets the block nice. or square. Okay. Um, I'm going to three halves or two thirds. I'm going to go with three halves, which is equivalent to one and one half. Okay. Here's one and one half. I don't want to use that one half. I'm going to rename one half. Um, let's see. I'm going to take two-fourths. You are allowed to rename in this game. Do you want to say why you wouldn't take that one half? I wouldn't there? take this one half because if you come and block me, neither of us win this. Right. I'd you have to get, get a half again a half. Right. to win the block. If I did two-fourths, I would only need one other fourth to claim this block. Right. So that's kind of where my mind is. Okay, because we have to get more than a half of the block to get it. Oh. Well, one-fourth. I can't take 4 over 1 because that's a whole number 4. So 1 fourth is all I can do. Now boys and girls, you will continue to play until all the squares have been captured or your teacher says time is up. The player who captures the most squares wins the game. Have a good time. See you at the next five.